Hey, what's going on, FBF family? Wags here, and today we have a special video for you today. Jessie's gonna be helping me make apple fritters. You know, because it's a cooking video and she likes to cook. So, but it's a little bit different this time. I'm gonna be doing the work in the kitchen, right? So I want you to imagine this. Imagine I'm working at a restaurant, right? And I'm sitting there and it's like, all right, it's dessert time. I'm the only one that is a specialist at, the, at this dessert. And I have like a Chef Ramsay breathing down my neck aka Jess, telling me, screaming me what to do, how to do it, and making these apple fritters. Eventually, I will get Jess not to be camera shy. I will. It's inevitable. She knows it. So, but I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt, and that's why we're doing it this way. So she's going to maybe make some cameo appearances, but lo and behold, it's going to be me doing the work, it's me going to be messing up, and it's me going to have fun, and I'll see you guys once we get inside. <laughs> We are back in the lab, we are back in the kitchen of Wags, and we are going to make apple fritters. I'm so excited, but we gotta get things going. So what we're gonna need for this is you're gonna need brown sugar, you're gonna need flour, you're gonna need cinnamon, you're gonna need baking powder, you're gonna need vanilla extract, you're gonna need salt, you're gonna need milk, you're gonna need eggs, you're gonna need stuff to measure, you're gonna need stuff to stir it, and we obviously gotta peel apples. So let's go ahead and peel some apples. All right, so we got the apple, we got the peeler. I haven't done this in years, so like, it's... Would you it's... like a tip to peel the apples? Sure, so Chef. Go ahead and tell me, what's the tip to peel the apple? Oh, good. You cut around the top like that, you cut around the bottom, and it just makes it so much easier to peel the sides off. All right. So top like that. Bottom. Oh! Okay, this might take three hours just for you to peel these apples. Listen, Chef. All right? I don't go for speed. I go for... Quality over quantity, okay? I only know two speeds. I know slow and stop, and I don't need your sassiness telling me how to peel an apple. Do you think you could have got me better apples, Chef? This one has like a little brown spot. Brown spots add flavor. I almost just lost a finger on that one. Oh my God. All right, stop. <laughs> chef, if you're gonna sass me this whole time, I'm gonna quit before this party gets started, okay? Yeah, well. Then you can go in the kitchen. Huh, chef? Huh? Wouldn't what? you like that? So, we're peeling apples. We gotta peel a couple of them, then we gotta dice them into little cubes. Um, that's pretty much what we gotta do for this recipe. But little does chef know, little does the chef know, um, I did like a Rachel Ray, and I already have some apples peeled. But I figured, you know what, since I'll show you the process of how to do it. That's called TV magic over there. It's called Wags Magic. It's called TV Magic. So, but wait, let me show you how to cut this. We need a knif. <clears throat> oh, that's a serrated knife. That's a serrated knife. This, that's not a knife. This is a knife. So you gotta cut it. So we're gonna cut it. Quarter. Chef, am I doing all right? Somewhat. You want to have like little smaller planks so it's easier to dice it small. So I did it wrong. Slightly. That's fine. Don't do that. I'm <laughs> doing it anyway. You don't listen. I'm wags. I never listen. Oh, these are cubes, are they? No, they're not. That's all right. It's a little, it makes it into... Um, and these apples will be being used. Yeah, but you, know what? you don't want to. That's not small dice. This is. No, it's not. So we add a lot of variety. Small dice. We add a little variety. Exercise. <laughs> so we just, hey, you're judging, all right? Don't judge. Because in the whole world, in the whole world, no one's ever the same. Everything is different, right? We're like, we're like, we're like crayons, right? Some of us are blue, some of us are black, some of us are brown, some of us are yellow, some of us are orange. But we all gotta learn how to live in the same box, right? So that's pretty much what I'm doing. Bah! 
But do you know the reason why you would cut them small instead of mismatched fulls? No, I don't. Full sizes. Because if you have a piece this big. I'm going to fix that. Compared to a piece this big. What's going to cook quicker? Let me see. I can fix that easily. No, you don't have to worry about that issue about cooking. That's not the way you fix things, but okay. Is that better, Chef? They're not cubes, are they? No, they're not. They're rectangles. Cubes. That's better. Wow, he finally gets it. Yeah, I know. So instead of sassing me, praise me. But yeah, so I'm gonna be doing this for a little bit because I'm not the fastest or the sharpest tool in the shed. So we'll come back and we'll show you all the apples peeled and cut. Boom, look at that. Look at all those apples I did. See, movie magic works. Anyways, I have to talk what's important. What's important is now we get the mixing bowl. Now we got to mix flour. I think it's a cup and a fourth, right? Cup and a fourth, yes. Ah. Okay. So, let me get this out of the way. We'll put, oh, oh, making a mess. That's mm -hmm. fine. It wouldn't be a cooking video if you didn't make a mess. Here's a cup. It wouldn't be a WAGS cooking video if there wasn't a mess. And a fourth. Boom. Flour's done. Was that a fourth? Oh, it was a third, but no one, no, one, no one's gonna miss that, that, that little bit. Extra. A little extra. See, you don't have to be extra sometimes. Now you we need baking extra. powder. How much is baking powder? I think it's three teaspoons. Two teaspoons. See, I was off. So, two teaspoons. And if you don't know what a teaspoon is, don't worry. Neither do I. But I'm just gonna wing it. Two teaspoons. Pop. No, you level the thing off at the top. Oh. No, don't pop. take that. Oh my god, this is so much baking powder. No, it's alright. It's fine. You need you need baking powder. No, oh my god. It's fine. Uh, now cinnamon. You need three of these small little things, right? Oh my god. You need three of these little things. <laughs> I have a heart attack now. I have a heart attack, please. Three of these, right? Wow. Yes. Pop. I hope that's pop. the right one. Quarter. Okay, good. And we need brown sugar, right? Or no, do we need to wix this thing, right? Wix yes. it? Uh, salt. How much salt? You need half a teaspoon. So that's what I just used, right? I used a quarter, I need a half. Two quarters equals a half. So two quarters. <laughs> one. Equal one half. I knew that, same math, man. Now we got it mixed together. Oh. What am I looking for here? Because obviously it's not what it's just You just want dry. it to be combined. And my powers combined, we are Captain Planet. Oh my God, demonetization. That's good so, enough. Okay, now what? What's next? Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Brown sugar? Two tablespoons. That's one, so I need two of these bad boys. You want to do light brown? We can do light brown. Oh, that's hard. I got the new ones in there. Or is this okay if it's hard? No. Oh. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Ah, much better. Brown sugar. Two teaspoons. Two of those Table. Little... Yeah, that's what I said. Two tablespoons. These things. Boom. Those are t That's teaspoons. You need tablespoons. Tablespoons are the bigger one. So how many of these equal a tablespoon? Oh, so it's this thing. Yes, don't do it. I'm going to tell you how many teaspoons. 
Eagle Taste Why are you going to make it so difficult, chef? This is a recipe. You got to follow the recipe. All right, fine. So how many teaspoons? And a tablespoon. Three teaspoons. So you need one more of those. See, I knew it. And then do one of the big ones. Boom. And one of the big ones? Yes. See, I knew it. See, I'm pretty good. Bam. That's enough, right? Yes, now mix that together. All right, hold on. You know, when you're cooking in the kitchen, right, it also helps to make sure you clean up after yourself, so it's less clean up at the end of everything. That is true. Work smarter, not harder. All right, so now this is done. We'll never see this again. Flour's done. We'll never see this again. To the next video. This is done. This is done. This can go away. All right. We don't need these measurements anymore from the sink. Yes, we do. We need it for vanilla. Uh, I knew that. What do we need? A teaspoon? One teaspoon of vanilla. It gets mixed with the eggs. So we just need this. I don't know where this came from, but that's okay. I'll just throw that there. All right, so now half the stuff is already clean. I'll just mix this. Is this going to be enough for all those apples? I don't know. Oh, Chef, I don't mean to question you, but... We're going to find out. All right. all right, mix. Now what? And another bowl. Another bowl. Boom. Miraculous. And look, it has eggs in it. Do I crack the eggs in here? Crack the eggs. Boom. That's one. I have a disposal in my sink. Like that one-handed crack. <coughs> Boom. Whisk them. Whisking. Whisk, 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 With whisk. vanilla. All right, hold on. I got to whisk it first. Oh, my God. I just killed some chickens. You want to whisk the eggs and vanilla till nice and frothy. So two of these tablespoons. One. One tablespoon. Teaspoon. It's the difference between yeah, a teaspoon yeah, and teaspoon. a tablespoon. Okay. Did it. That's it, right? That's all we you already did. screwed that up, so let's go with that. Whisk, 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 whisk. There was only a little bit left. I wasn't going to save that. Like, why? Now we have vanilla e eggs. All right, now what's next, Chef? Whisk them until light and frothy. What's light and frothy? Oh so like back and forth like this? Mm. Oh, you want to show me, Chef? I'll show you. You want to show me? Want to show me? All right, show me, Chef. Light and frothy. But what makes that frothy? Bubbles. Oh. Okay. Boom! Frothy, chef. I did it. Proud? Proud now? Now. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just frothing it. Mix the flour uh -huh. into the egg mixture. <coughs> that? Yes. All Use the wooden spoon. I'm sorry, doing it little by little. I'll get rid of this. Dinner time! I miss this. Well, now why am I not whisking this? Because you don't need to whisk it. It's too thick of a batter to whisk it. Yeah, I can see that. It's all clumpy now. Wow. Well, then next, you need to add a third a cup of milk. But I feel like all the powder is going to be absorbed. <laughs> I'm just getting tired, chef. Do you more milk? A little bit. But you don't want to over mix it. You kind of want it chunky like this? No, you don't want it chunky, but you want all the flour mixed in. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Now it's, you know what it smells? It smells like oatmeal. Kind of like cinnamon oatmeal. Yeah. All right, so we're going to mix this. All right, we're going to cut back until my arm falls off. I'm going to have to mix this. I'll see you guys in a minute. I do got to tell you, we're working with hot oil. If you ever have a grease fire, do not use water. Use salt, please. It's a very important. This is just your warning. Here, disclaimer. Okay. All right. We got the apple fritters right here. I want to make sure it's good. Mm. Things you shouldn't be doing. No, it's good. It's good. Is it tasty, though? It's very tasty. So now we got a couple options. As I'm leaning over, so we got a couple options. This is kind of a difficult angle. Can you, can you come up a little bit? Ah, there we go. So we got a couple options we could do. You could use an ice cream scoop or you could use a spoon. I think I want to use an ice cream scoop. Because you got a unique one. Use one with like a little push handle. No, I have one with a push handle, but we'll use a spoon anyway. That's so it comes out. All right, so now there we go. We got the apple fritters here. I'm gonna reach over here. I'm gonna scoop a nice we hopping scoop right here. Heaping. Heaping. Move the bowl closer so you don't trip. Yeah. Like that? Let it go. So that fly. Boom. You can actually turn the oil down a little bit so we don't Boom. burn ourselves. This kills oil. Mm -hmm. Flour kills oil. Don't overcrowd the pan. You want some space. So now it's just a cooking process. Now we need that spoon. Now, how do I flip these bad boys over? Metal spoon. Like a bigger spoon. Like I have a bigger metal spoon anyway. We'll use these spoons. Checking the bottom. The bottom seems like it's cooking very well. You don't want to move them too much. Wasn't trying to. Ow. If you use two. Ah, look at this. Makes it easier. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that, chef. Oh, these look so delicious. I'm going to put these. Can I get a chef? I know I shouldn't tell you what to do. But can I get? Yes, thank you, chef. Look how good this looks, guys. I think they're about done. Not yet. You got to give them three to four minutes on each side. Even though they're small, you want to make sure the center is cooked through. Push it down a little bit just to make sure it's nothing's coming out of the sides. But I also don't want it to break either, so I'm being very, very, very cautious. Am I done? Wait, oh. I was just looking. Did you look at the center of this one? Yeah, you can see it's liquidy. About that. See? So you can do that. It's called basting. So you don't want to do it to all of them because it will soak in the oil. All right. You don't want to do it too much, I mean. Uh, but like, look at the top now. Yeah. All the oil soaked into it. I'm sorry, because once you put on paper towels, it's going to absorb some of the oil. 
All right, I think these may be about done. Could you give me a paper plate? They smell so good, though. Oh, yeah. I wish you had, like, a 4D uh, vision, right? What I mean by that? You could smell. Smell, vision. smell a vision, yeah. Oh, that's hot. Very hot. Look at that. Papa! Let me get this one out of here. Oh, no, we're adding more? Okay. Might as well. I think it's going to cook at least maybe another this one and one more after this. I'm assuming. Maybe another two more to this one. So right, we'll just put that back in there. And it doesn't matter if they look all disheveled. It doesn't matter if they look kind of like not even or anything because you got to break it to eat it anyway. Okay. So if you're doing the fritters, right, and you notice when you break it open, it has, could you kind of focus that a little bit? Right there. It has a little bit of like liquid. If it doesn't work, you can always just put it in the oven. Hey, guys. Guys, I need you to keep a secret. Oh, oh, oh time out, guys. Time out, time out. We're going to take a brief moment away from the video because I'm talking to you. Yes, you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you leave a comment so I know that you guys are watching and I can answer all the questions there. And make sure you hit that bell icon too so it'll, it'll notify you every time I upload because it's very important, guys. Now back to the video. So, we have a little bit of these apple fritters left, right? I found something in my, uh, my cabinet. It's a... Uh, hold on, let's zoom in. It's Papa John's Sugar Shack. Right? It's maple syrup, maple sugar. I'm just going to, if the chef's not here, I'm just going to add a little bit to it. You know what? Let's just do it this way. Maybe she will. What sure. are you doing? Nothing. What Nothing. Are you doing? Don't ask questions. Oh my God. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. I, 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 was, I was stirring the mix. Stirring the mix. That's. Uh -huh. No, 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 for real. Just, just stirring. Just, just stirring the mix, you know, because you can't let it sit there or else it would just kind of like solidify. If you eat all the batter, we're not going to have any left. I didn't do anything. You got the chef on camera. What? 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 Not gonna, lie, not gonna lie, guys, I ate two of them already. That looks so good. It smells so good. 
So it looks like we got maybe one more, one more trip. Oh, that was close. All right, let's go ahead and do this. The last batch. I, I say we go all out on this one. Make at least two. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because they're not going to be easy to flip. Okay. Oh my god. That's one. Too close to the side. I don't know if that. Oh. This is for science. This is going to break. You got to break it to eat it, girl. Okay, so you know what they say about not overcrowding his hand? This is overcrowding his hand. Yeah, scoop that up. There we go. And then the apple fritter. Bowl is done. Also, the real reason why I made them this big is because these are different. Obviously, and I added stuff to this one. And I thought if I made them around the same, no one's going to tell the difference. So that's why I made them big. So I try to do that for the other people in the house. They're going to eat the apple fritters anyway. So Now, when you're done with the oil, let it sit aside to cool. Obviously, half of it's gone anyway. Do not pour it down the sink. Let it wait for it to cool a little bit and then go ahead and put it in the container and dispose of it the right way. But, yeah, tips. And those are the apple fritters. I mean, I feel like they're missing a little bit of something, so I'm just going to add a little, a little something to them, just kind of spice it up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Just a little bit of um, powdered sugar. You could also make a powdered sugar glaze for them if you want. But I think they're kind of sweet enough almost. Especially the big ones with the secret ingredient I put in. <laughs> but, yeah, look at that. Tell me that does not look good. I think it looks good. I think I did a good job with your instructions, Jesse. I think I'm ready to run my own bakery. I, I don't think you're ready to run your own bakery, but you didn't do too bad. I think I could do anything I set my mind to. You could. But I think the only thing now is we just got to eat it, right? We got to take a piece and see how it goes. So let's go ahead and um, do that. All right, I guess, like I said, the only thing to do is eat it. Cheers. What did you add to this? I'll find out. Cool. It's hot. It's good, though. Man, I told you I'd get on camera. Mm. Anyways, my mouth's on fire. It's delicious. Apple fritters, DIY. Why come at you the next Iron Chef, maybe? Cool. Anyways, guys. It's been awesome. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.